Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our Snatch Press. The Snatch Press is exactly what it sounds like. It is a snatch which turns into a press. Think of this as exactly like a clean and press, only more difficult. It's not a lot more difficult, but it is more difficult. So you have to know your snatch already, and you have to be really good at your press. The reason you do this exercise is because you can repeat your clean and press training over entirely with a snatch press in order to spend more time working on your intermediate weight presses so that you will get much better at them. To fill out the strength of your core at the target weight zone, which is usually for most people intermediate weights. So for our clean and press, we would do our clean, lock our glutes, Press, bring the weight down, and then push it back. For our snatch press, we are going to go all the way into our snatch from the top, bring it down, press all the way up, and then snatch back down. So instead of starting our press at the bottom and returning to the bottom, we are going to start our press at the top and return to the top. This will cause your core to fire in different ways. The more ways your core learns to fire, the stronger overall you can be. We are going to start with our thumb pointed down. We are gonna hike the weight back. We are gonna get our forearm to hit the inside of our leg. We are gonna be very close up in there. We are going to snap our hips, pull the weight up. We are gonna rotate the kettlebell around our hand to our catch position with our palm faced forward. From here, we are going to pull the weight down and we are gonna bring our elbow as close to our hip bone as we can with our thumb equal with our collarbone. And then we're gonna press all the way back up. Make sure you're not doing a little half press and you don't have a big gap between your elbow and your body. Bring your elbow all the way down so you can press it all the way back up. Thumb points back, hike the weight back, snatch the weight up. Palm faces forward. Bring your elbow all the way down close to your hip, thumb equal with collarbone. Press, palm faces forward. Go around, hike it back. Hand change as normal. We use this exercise for two things, to repeat our clean and press numbers over again, working on our snatch, and to get better at our snatch. When people are running snatch cycles in their first two years of training, they tend to have a problem getting their arm all the way back to the full position at the top of the movement. And they will kind of cut it short and have their arm forward at this angle. In order to keep people from doing that, just add a press. They get to the top, they add a press, they will be forced to go back to a very vertical position on their arm and then do their snatch again. Additionally, it will slow the snatch down. The snatch can be an extremely, extremely fast exercise. 20 a minute or so, one rep every 2.5 to 3 seconds can be pretty fast and very hard on the heart. So this is a way to get people to work on the snatch while slowing them down enough that they can breathe through it and not have their heart explode. Use this for those things. Slow down your snatch so that you can breathe or use it to work on your press with your clean and press math. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.